Bubbles. I made sure before this review that I lubed up my arsehole. You know what? I cleaned it out. That's a good point, because the electronic keys reminded me of that. Very. In, 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 in this jungle. Bubbles. I mean, if I had to put words to Bomber's Pit, it's like the money store. Berry. And No Love Deep Web fucked and had a baby, and the baby became in this pretty good friends with its cousin Jenny Depp. Jungle. Hey! Ho oh, ho! Hello! Oh, oh. Alexander Man! Oh! I'm Alexander Schultznitzen. Today to review Death Grip's bottom of <coughs> pit. <laughs> yeah, man, we've been through the whole discog pretty Yo, much. Man. Yeah, pretty much. We've, we've missed like a few of the. Yeah, Fashion Week. If we skip Fashion Week, there was another one as well, which I can't remember which we've skipped. So yeah, we've skipped be. like we've skipped a few things, but no, but we've done all the ones which you, which the majority thinks matters, and yeah. that's all that matters to the major to to us. To, to us. It's a creepy cover. Creepy as fuck. Is it just a giant fucking bulb? Yeah, it's got some like monster lurking in the background type thing. Oh, it's like an it sort of thing. Yeah. yeah. But people have said that this is their most. They said this is more like the money store than anything else. Yeah, done. like a bit different, but similar mm. to it. I um, think when I said. I have nothing to say. Maybe you gotta be like, no! Yeah, I will. Don't worry. I'm, 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 I'm ready. I gotta save it. I gotta keep him locked down. All I gotta say is what you've gotta say. Right, let's go. You ready? <laughs> I'm ready, man. I have really nothing to say. Wait, 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 wait. This is my, this is my, my tag for, for music when I start making music. Right, let's go. Let's go. Ooh, I already fucked. We're about to get fucked in the ass, man. Oh, mate, I'm ready. Oh, I'm fucking ready. Let's go. Uh, nice way to start the album right there. Might be my favorite intro mm. I've heard for a Death Grips album. That's, that's a good point. I just love the, the fucking... The whole fucking track. With the guitar. Nah, the fucking drums. The, was it was the guitar as well? Oh, it is guitar. Is it? No, it sounds like drums, guitar, but it's just like they've just looped it for the whole track. Okay. It's definitely, um, was the money still structured? No. Okay, this definitely feels quite structured right here. Wait, was it structured? I can't remember. Yeah, for the long time. Sorry, guys. It's I, a think lot. It I think it was a bit. No, no, I don't think it was that much, but it was a bit. But definitely is a clear structure with the song, and I actually quite enjoy that. Um, I love what he did at the end with the, what the fucking, what the hell, can I just... Oh. I, I don't know, man. Vocals are dope. I love the, keep going up, yeah, that, people, that good ideas. I'm like, oh, when it started, I'm like, I, I love that sample sort of shit. I got nothing more to say. That was a dope track. Good way to open this album. I'm motherfucking excited, all right? Okay? All right? Already, I like it. I like this It's kind of got elements of um, No Love Deep Web already. No okay. Love Deep Web had those, mostly these sort of sounds. Is that all No, no, no. Oh my God. Oh, 
I'm Alexander Scholznitzen. I like Scholznitzens. I'm Von Kram. Damn. That was hothead. I kind of hurt myself taking my jumper off. I was like KO'd for like 30 seconds. Yeah, I saw that. What happened? Yeah, I just kind of busted my neck up. Definitely more chaotic. Definitely more chaotic than the start. Um, Definitely. I really, look, here's the thing. <laughs> uh, we should have, I don't. Sorry, that's it. That's all I got. All right. I hope that was um, constructive. The chaos is back. More than ever. It's really and I made sure before this review that I lubed up my arsehole. You know what? I cleaned it out. That's a good point because the electronic keys reminded me of that. The electro the, the, the reminded me of cleaning my arsehole out with lube. Yeah, yeah. It triggered like the keys. I don't know if that was a guitar or I don't know what instrument that was. It can be both. Okay. It can it can be both. Great. So it could be two instruments <laughs> at once. Okay. Um, definitely really enjoyed that. It kind of gave this this almost electric vibe that uh that underlied the whole song yeah nice. i enjoyed the instrumentation anyway let's stop talking shit let's get to the next track but i still want to talk about stuff i don't just get an extra it was a good track it was a good track okay the, Fuck, chaos, the what, chaos is back what more do you want what if i could like drink through my toe like open up like the top of my toe and just slip out like a straw are you high <laughs> <laughs> bro imagine you high oh. <laughs> It was good, but it was kind of different as well because it was less chaotic than the first two tracks. I think right now I'm experiencing like an underlying electronic theme. It's not as prevalent as in some of the other projects that they've made, mm. but I'm definitely, they're definitely doing a lot of um, electric guitar type key sampling. Right. It kind of has the electronicness of No Love Deep Web, but it still has the chaoticness of the money store. So far. Yeah, and it also has elements of Jenny Death as well with a lot of the guitar. Right. Definitely, it's, it's, yeah, you can see the growth. You can see definitely like, oh, let's play with this, play with this, play with this, combine this. The pieces are all coming together. Um, but yeah, I enjoyed that track. I I don't know what more to say upon it. Like with Death Grips, as always, we're going to miss the lyrics and going to find it out four or five, you know, listeners later. So for now, just get a general feel for things. That was dope. It, the, the, I think the title, the track of the, the, the song, Warping, definitely describes what you feel. The, the yeah. Sorry, that wasn't in the song. I'm not sure what song you heard. That high pitch didn't exist. But definitely resonates with the warping type of feel you hear at, at times, sonically. Mm. I love the, also the... Mm. You guys hear that? It was really cool. Uh, drums were fucking heavy, fucking on point. Vocals were smooth. Bit more, bit more structure to the song, but still really dope. I really like it. I like it. It's a good song. And we're gonna yeah. comment saying, "Oh, but you missed the underlying meaning of what he was saying." Oh well, fuck it. I missed it, didn't I? <laughs> yeah. Daddy, Daddy King, I'm ready for what summer. Oh, what's the man, mate? You made it turn itself on. Two letter text. Translation. Ah. Air force. <laughs> 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 
That was like that close. You are for Nothing over here. Yeah, it's over there. Fucking army. I was going to be frothing. I would have been fucking having a stroke. I'm not representing. Yeah, you're making me hear shit that I don't. I love that. Like it's the, so many layers to Death Grip sonically. Like there is. Like it's like an onion, really. And you hear something, I hear something, and we put it together, and we hear all the layers. It's it's fucking great. Mm. We're probably my least favorite track. Yeah. Makes I sense. mean, yeah, dig the production, but like, I feel like there was the first few tracks, especially the first two tracks, were like real fucking heavy, oh, shit's heavy. going on everywhere. I couldn't keep track of the beat, then the last two tracks were like a bit less to them, a bit more structured. But this track was like the most minimalistic. Still, you know, still like we said a lot to the production layer wise, but like, just wasn't feeling it as much. Bubbles buried in this jungle. Most deaf. That's probably one of the. <laughs> I just won't finish my sentence then! Oh, I'm I'm just talking it. Oh, 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 I'm good to go as long as I'm not front row. Oh, get more rapid. Yeah. Yeah, it's getting a lot more rapid. Go. Probably favorite track right there. That was sick. The guitar. Do, do, do. Hey. How you doing? <laughs> I love it because your eyes go like, be more just like, like you try and like look dumber. <laughs> I'll go try. <laughs> kind of just happened. Do, do, do. It's kind of like. <laughs> 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 That's what you happen. You were just like acting normal, but all of a sudden you're just like, it's like. Do, do, do. Anyways. <laughs> that was definitely one of the best tracks. The fucking <laughs> guitar building up like the. The fucking it's kicks. Not what it sounds. The like fucking bro. kicks. <laughs> all right, all right, simmer down. Fucking. You gotta, you gotta take your hair up a little tighter. It's all loosey goosey. So you got. Oh, I'm sorry, man. Let me, let me put up a bit tighter for you there. There we go, Grace. Is that better? Is that tight enough for me, mate? Oh, bro, it feels off my hair. It's really soft at the moment. Is it? Yeah, I feel it. You using Pantene? It's just. Ah. Uh... <laughs> what am I, your bitch? It's fitting that uh, that track happens to be called what the track is. Fucking say it, mate. Fucking say it, mate. Trash. Oh, can we say a little louder for our audience? We have mics, bro. <laughs> oh, mate, maybe the mic forgot about it. Trash. There we go. Um, yeah, but it's probably the point of it. I don't think so. We upload trash. Blah, blah, blah. Trash. They're just there. We upload trash. Like, I don't know. It seems like... Maybe. It might, if there's one coincidence... that it, I don't think it's a coincidence that the song is probably not that great. 
and it's I mean, trash. I didn't mind the bit in the middle where it's like the drums, like boom, boom, boom. And we started dun, rapping, dun, dun, like dun, I enjoyed dun, that. Dun, 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 dun. But then it was like the. Yeah. That was. I was like, like, like nah, third. I'm done. It at, least was, the, at least it wasn't long. I mean, there's only been two tracks I haven't liked so far. Oh, so. The album's been pretty, pretty decent, pretty good so far. Houdini. Houdini. Oh, that's the name of me, uncle. Carol will see the hair, she'll be like, which bitch did you have over? <laughs> and you were just like me, boy, Alex. <laughs> like, I knew it. I was going to say, you seem like a trustworthy man. I would never question your love. <laughs> the way you said that. Oh, the pussy, I mean, pussy turn. The pussy's, the arsehole is so good that it's like a pussy turn, is what we interp interpreted. And they're typing already, no, you fucking dickhead. That's no, it, it means that the pussy is like the arsehole, but fuck, that was, I didn't, I, that, that track was average to me. It's, it's pretty repetitive, that was like one of the most repetitive ones. I'm still lacking the drums all over these, these tracks, but I feel like there's not enough else surrounding around it. Maybe this album's a grow as well, because like, the moon... It's not out there, mate. The moon was No, hold on. It's always out there. The moon... It's the fact that this... Oh, fuck. You're right, mate. No. It is always fucking out there. <laughs> no, it is. It's always visible. Oh, it's, it... it's always out there. It depends how bright the sun is and where it's uh, situated in the sky and the time of day. Just I want to let everybody know that. You can always see the moon. You just have to find it. But the moon was a grower. I've listened to it a lot more. I really like the album. This album might be the same. Which is why I'm probably not digging a few of these tracks. of it the fucking the trumpet guitar <laughs> i'm gonna call it a trumpet the guitar. fucking the sounds that like really build up the intro like the doo -doo 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 -doo, and then it fucking started the intro was great the intro was dope the energy was good the whole way through it's a fun track i'm back on track track all i need is one in the <laughs> all i need is one <laughs> and uh all I need is one bedroom. 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 And oh, fuck it up. Wait, I didn't get to finish my sentence, mate. All I need is one bedroom and a fucking pussy. Fuck, and I'm good, mate. <laughs> What is that? Those guys just like, oh yeah, I've got a fucking huge fucking cock, mate. Oh, oh fuck you. Oh, it's fucking. I've got an, an average size and a, well, I'm very proud of my cock. 
It's a good, it's a good dick. I can hit the pause or something like this, but we'll continue. <laughs> Yeah, it's a good job. <laughs> oh, oh, thank you. Oh, I thought it was fucking... Fuck. I didn't know there was only 10 seconds left. 10 seconds, eh? That's how long I last inside of you. <laughs> That's what I need. Um, the... Pew, boop, boop, boop. The thing, that thing, the thing goes... That thing was... <laughs> it caught me off guard. I like I that a lot. With the skirt. I really enjoyed that track. Oh. Part of me was just like, whoa, that is, <clears throat> and the other part of me was like, damn. Oh man, I find it hard to review these albums. <laughs> it's hard, isn't it? I find it hard. It's also hard when it's, um, you know, I think I'm awake now, but like. You think? The first, no, but the first, yeah, yeah. Like when you wake up in the morning, oh god, and you, <laughs> and you, you go to your, you go to your Shut garden, up. right? You go to your garden, oh, and god. there's vegetables. You got your tomatoes. You've got your little squashes, you've got your pumpkins, you got your zucchinis, and you get to your little kumquats. Fuck off with and you're the just, kumquats. And you're just like, oh, hello, little kumquats, how are this morning? And they're just like, oh, we're doing okay, we're just little kumquats. Aren't kumquats fruit, though? This is stupid. Oh, like, what? I'm pretty sure they're fruit, but if they're vegetables, it's like... I got 5% battery, we better, we better get through this, bro. <laughs> bro, this is a very important story. <laughs> yeah. Let's test it. Nice. I never would have thought I'd heard Death Grips over some Ratatat style guitars. You familiar with Ratatat? Nah. Have you listened to Man of the Moon by Kid Cudi? Yeah. You know the guitars that are on uh, Alive, Pursuit of Happiness? Yeah. Those, like, those guitars are very similar to that. That's Ratatat huh. style of production. So I never thought I'd hear Death Grips in a production. Those guitars. Um, I love the heavy guitar throughout that song as well. Um, yeah, I think I like that more. But I like, I, yeah. yourself mate <laughs> keep going mate I'm scared, <laughs> mate, I'm scared. now I want to say the heavy guitar throughout this throughout this whole album has been prevalent and mm. throughout this whole album has been um has been really nice has been really like pushed a lot of the energy of this album so far mm -hmm. that's all I wanted to say and uh, as, as ever I'm, I'm very quiet this album because there's a lot to take in and I'm just in a weird mood hey, no, hey, no, hey. it's great <laughs> Super dope song, man. That was real dope. killer. And the outro as well. With the it, de keys? it deviated. That's nice. Bruh. When, okay, he, here's what I'm saying. Here's what I'm saying on this album. When we're, we're not enjoying the tracks as much is when they're stagnating a little bit and we're not getting that, 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 that not vibrant, that eclectic switch ups and just really experimental um, energies and instrumental patterns. That's when we enjoy them the most, and when we don't is when the opposite happens. Yeah, man. Fucking, the instrumentation on the track was just so much more lively and different. At the moment, man, dude, dude that track inspired lyrics from me. You ready for it? Your girl looking fine mm. with little tiny C cups. 
Yo. Okay. She an FC cup. My but bitch, okay. my bitch, like a gecko. Yep. She suck it like she got suction cups. Okay. Oh, that's it. Oh, that's all I got. Oh shit. That's that, that song inspired them bars. Bars. <laughs> Oh, didn't care so much for that closer. Well, get very good, very heavy in the guitar right there. Pretty repetitive. I think that's why you didn't like it as much. Yeah. And also, it was very different to the rest of the album. Because the rest of the album had elements of rock throughout, but this was definitely the most rocky track. It's almost like it didn't belong in the album. Hmm. If you've kind of noticed a trend with some Death Grips albums, the last track, sometimes, a lot of times, is different. Do you remember... They come into the next album? Hmm... Maybe, but do you remember like the moon had the last track, which is more rocky, which led to Jenny Death, and Jenny Death had that last track in the album, which was like a bit more electro. Mm. So maybe maybe this is how it works. But I found I found it as a trend. Most Death Grips last tracks in the albums are very different towards the, actually the whole album. That's an interesting observation. I guess you know what do you guys think? Let us know. Comment below. But yeah, as a whole, Bottomless Pit. I'm, it makes me think if we if we reviewed Bottomless Pit first as a Death Grips experience, we'd have a totally different experience. I was just thinking Very that, different. you know, because we've been inoculated now to Death Grips. We, we, we definitely see and appreciate a lot of different aspects to it. And um, as a whole, Bottomless Pit is not one of my favorites, but, um, yeah. you know. I mean, if I had to put words to Bottomless Pit, it's like the money store and No Love Deep Web fucked and had a baby and the baby became pretty good friends with its cousin, Jenny Death. That is fucking confusing, but okay. Because it's most to me, this album's mostly no love mixed with Money Store. That's what I get. With just like you said, like elements of different stuff. Because the more we listen to it, the more we're seeing where the sounds come from. Um, I enjoyed the album, but once again, it's going to be a lot more missions. I think throughout my Death Grips experience, my favorite album is probably the Money Store, followed by probably No Love Deep Web, and then probably The Moon. They're probably my three favorite three favorite albums I've reviewed so okay, far. Okay. But that's not like straight away review. That's like over time yeah. as well. So, um... Man, Bottomless Pit, looking at the cover, I'm thinking I'm about to get some fucking absolute chaos. Looking at the cover, definitely doesn't speak to what I get with the album. Yeah. I, but, um, you know, I'm looking forward to what we got next, man. Year of the Snitch, the singles. Man, we were up to date. Holy shit, we did it. It's amazing, man. We did it. Someone, whoever said, oh, I'm editing this bitch, fuck, I've got to put confetti and shit and just be like, fucking... That's amazing, man. Uh, thank you guys for recommending all this stuff and helping us on this journey through music, it's really just experiencing yeah. music, man. It's a, it's a beautiful thing. Thank you. Do you think we're noided yet or not? I don't think we're noided yet. I don't even know what that really means, though. Just like I didn't know what, like, fucking, what the pink eye was. <laughs> what was the pink eye? Fucking one? normies? Is that normies. it? Normies. I don't know what was normies it? meant before we did pink eye. Normies someone that basically lives the day-to-day -day life and doesn't know anything outside of their life. <laughs> I made that up. That sounds about right, right? Yeah. Right? All right. But, um, if that's what you think. Yeah. Dope album. In ways, a few tracks here and there, like every Death Grips album, yeah. from a first listen perspective, where we don't dig it. Um, I'm excited to go back to it. And, a lot uh, of highlights on this album, you know? Yeah, a lot of highlights. There's definitely going to be three or four tracks I'm going to be fucking loving going back to. I can't remember the exact names, but the second to last one, the first, second track. I really like the first track. Quickly, the battery's running low. <laughs> mate, if it runs out, then it fucking runs out, all right, mate? My, my balls, I should reckon I should paint little green and red stripes my balls. They look like little watermelons. Who are you going to get to eat them? Dude, you don't eat a watermelon. So you got to... You got to... You just... Fuck. All right, man. Jungle Beats, man. If you want to see all the other Death Grips reviews, they're on the channel. Um, You're the Snitch coming soon. We'll be on it. Hopefully, we're up to date, man, by the time gonna, this drops. We're going to release our own album after it's called Year of the Bitch. Yeah. Bitch. And then I'm going to... Then I'm going to put honey all over my body. Is it, is it still going? And attach. It's still going and attach, uh, oh, yes. attach, um, oh, yes. oh, yes. oh, attach the. Um, um, oh, yes. I'm gonna attach uh, uh, some some uh, sheep skin. Oh yes. Sheep skin to um, to me uh, to me honey, and then uh, 
Oh, fuck. Schnappi, schnappi, schnapp. Ja, schnappi, 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 schnappi,